With skillful manipulating of the press, they're able to make the victim look like the criminal, and the criminal look like the victim. Let me get caller from 202. You're on live with the Black Channel. How you doing, Mr. Black? This is Bobby Ray calling from the United Kingdom. Bobby from the United Kingdom. Where at over there? Uh, I'm actually stationed at RAF Milton Hall. I am active duty United States Air Force. Oh, okay. And what's on your mind, brother? Well, uh, to talk on uh, to, uh, today's topic and stuff, how you talked about forgiveness of white supremacists, I mean, being an active duty service member, I mean, I know they say service before self and excellence and all we do, like the whole Air Force Corps values, but me personally, after listening to you and Tariq Nasheed, I, I say, honestly, screw forgiveness. I don't forgive the enemy. We don't forgive ISIS when we're in Afghanistan and when we're shooting and killing for whatever reason and exploiting resources, which they don't like to talk about, but – I, I just – know I, I, I can't co-sign that, and then relating to those two individuals, that one gentleman that said that he didn't know what segregation is, that, to me that was deny and deflection, and a lot of people in the dominant society are very good at deflecting to hide their racist ideologies that is still prevalent in, in the U.S. today, and the biggest thing that I'm dealing with is trying to talk to my wife about the different issues, and it seems like she's on code – and she doesn't even realize it because I have to say that my wife is Caucasian. She is a British national, okay. and I tried to show her hidden colors, and I mean she was like – it's like she felt – I could see that she felt shame, but like she just tried to deny it and just like why do you always have to bring up race and everything, Bobby Ray? Like why do you always have to? And I'm like because race is a factor in every single thing. And ever since I've been listening to you and Tariq Nasheed and Phil from the Advice Show Media with the Common Sense Approach, it's opened my eyes up. Are you? Do you have kids with it her? It really has. Uh, I, I, two stepdaughters. Okay. And so if we have don't, not received children. Don't have any biological children with her. Okay, Roger that, Roger that, and you know, honestly, I've been very weary about that and stuff. I just, I. That I mean, being being married and stuff like that to a Caucasian woman is already hard in itself, and then being in the military and dealing with that and things of that nature and stuff, it's it's definitely a lot. And now that I've taken heed to that and hearing that from you and stuff like that, now I know. She sounds like the kind of woman. Now I know. She sounds like the kind of woman who, if you had daughters with her, she would never call her daughters black. She would refer to them as mixed. Or tell them that they're white or you're just people. She would never look her daughters in the eye and say that you are a beautiful black woman. And you as a black father, you don't want to be fighting against that. That's not the kind of thing you want to be fighting Roger against. That, so I'm sir. just telling you right now, you're already in the lion's den. And I, you called me, obviously, because you can tell that, oh, hell, I should have thought this over a little bit more. And I know what caught you. I know what caught you. What caught you is the fact she's British. I've talked to a few white British women. Um, as a matter of fact, when I was in Charlottesville, now I will say this, cause I'm kind of blowing my cover, but I ran into a British woman. She was in her like late fifties, early sixties. And um, she was asking me about it because I was taking footage of the statues. And she was asking me about what I thought about it. And she was one of the uh, army people also. But she was she was British, but she was an army person. But she she didn't speak with much of a British accent. But she was she was British, and she was asking me about that. And she was giving me the you know that doesn't make any sense and this that and the other. And you know it's not like that in Britain where we are, which is a damn lie. You know why? Because what they will trot out to you is oh take a look at the number of white women who sleep with black men but what they will not point out to you is yeah but the dudes are coons that's the first thing 
And the second thing is take a look at black people's socioeconomic position in Britain. Black folk aren't equals. Black people are at the bottom of the socioeconomic barrel in Britain, just like they are in America. While they're telling you about your sexual access is the proof that everything's okay now. As black people, we have confused sexual access with equality. And that you have a woman who, d who puts up much less resistance to gaining sexual access. But as you're finding out, you can get sexual access and she'll get in the bed with you and every damn thing else. But when she hops out that bed, she's back on coat. When you start trying to tell her, we, I as the head of this household, we have to fight white supremacy. All of a sudden she starts backing up on you. She's like, hey, why's it gotta be that serious? The, that's there's there's the problem right there. There it is. Yes, and and trust me, like Mr. Black, like let me tell you, like it's gotten to the point to where because since I bring up the issues that are prevalent in the U.S. and around the world today, it gets to the point to where she says, I don't want to hear you talk about black or white or this that the whole nine yards. Oh. Like she, I mean, she actually screamed at okay, me. Okay, I need about you to. Okay, you, I need you to invest in a divorce lawyer. I don't really tell people to get <laughs> I don't really tell people to get divorced because you know I'm not gonna snuggle up with you tonight and she does. But I think you need to find somebody new to snuggle up with. Uh I yeah, you wanna get out of that one. Because if you have children with her, imagine her telling these young children that there is no racism and that she doesn't want to talk about it. Imagine if you have kids with her and something happens to you. What she's saying to you, that's how she's going to raise your kids. This is true. Very true. So I'm going to advise you. Very yeah, true, I hope you, I hope you ain't been married to her too long and ease your way out the door. Because this, this isn't well, going to get, this isn't going to get any Osan better. Korea coming up, so. Okay, well, get, uh, you need to talk with a lawyer about divorcing her because this is, this is no bueno. This this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna get any better. She wants your she wants black sexual access, and I'm pretty sure that you were not leading with this when you met her. Obviously, you weren't because there wouldn't be so much friction now. But clearly, something has happened that's raised your awareness and made this more of a priority. And what you're trying to do, brother, is the impossible. You're trying to turn a white woman into an African woman. That's impossible. Go take a look at her mom and her dad. That's who raised her. That's her life. That's where she comes from. You're not going to replace her white heritage with a black one. She is a member of the oppressor class. And every time you talk about dismantling that oppressor class, all she hears is you want to take away my white privilege. She knows she got it and she ain't trying to hear you get rid of it. So my advice to you, brother, you are the first person of the black channel that I will officially emphatically, I know I've told some other folk they probably need to, in your case, you're the one I'm telling you, yeah, you need to look at a divorce. I don't see any of this getting Roger better. That, and you, you're trying to transform a white woman into a black one. It will not work. You can't beat her down. You can't pressure her down. You can't make her acquiesce. At very best, you will get her to be quiet about it. But every time your back is turned, she's going to be overturning everything you're doing. If you have children with her, she is going to be on the we all human beings, all lives matter. And God forbid if anything ever happens to you, she will be the one in charge of their racial education. Telling them that their color, the color of their skin doesn't matter. In a world where they can be gunned down by the uh, cops over there at any time for doing it yes sir well i'll tell you mr black sir i thank you so so much and stuff for sharing your knowledge and your wisdom sir and you are the first individual to actually tell me the the honest truth and that's the thing and stuff and i say this to all my black people the truth is not meant to be soothing it is meant to give you that shocking wake up call it is like ice cold water and being out in that ocean and those waves are hitting your body so, sir, I thank you so, so much for. Okay.
Okay, I think his call dropped there. But uh, right now, he's looking at a divorce. It's better that than your genes. It's better that than having to fight with her over your genes. Having to fight with her over your DNA. At least at this point, you don't have to do that. At least he doesn't have to fight over his DNA. At least he doesn't have to do that. He woke up late, but at least he's not fighting with her over his DNA. He doesn't have to fight over her with her over what country the children will have to live in. She got her daughters. He married somebody's baby mama. She's got her daughters. He can just say, yeah, I'm good, deuces, and check out. At least he can do that, and he doesn't have to worry about his daughter being a citizen on the other side of the world. At least he can do that. Maybe he'll take advantage of it. I welcome you to Make It Plain TV. This channel is dedicated to bringing truth to power and engaging our enemy with intellectual warfare. The dominant society will never switch up their playbook, so we must make a new one. The war we find ourselves in no is a technological can, war, using technology, no kidding, propaganda, and psyops to oppress and control you. Black intelligentsia, please share the new black media counter-propaganda arm. Make it plain TV. It is a big idea. Propaganda from a new world order. A new world order. A new world order. No stopping what can be stopped. No killing what can. I understand that time is running out. 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 Out.